Oh, oh okay. coming. Sorry, guys. Yeah, no, we okay. We're all good. Well, <laughs> to a point. All right, good morning. Uh, today is Saturday, October 14th and I'm about to go do a 60 kilometer mountain bike race. Uh, about to switch over my power meter pedals from the gravel bike over to my mountain bike. So today is a rainy day. I have never rode my mountain bike in the rain before, so this is gonna be a first time experience. And I don't know if I'm going to be properly dressed. I did Paris to Ancaster. It was much colder than what it is now. I'm excited. I'm nervous, but uh, it doesn't look like this rain's going to be letting up anytime soon. I had to bring out the big boy camera for this view. This is beautiful. This is out in Turkey Point at some conservation area. I can't remember the name of it exactly. This view is crazy. Wish I could see it on a nice sunny day. It's about an hour away to the start. I'm just about to put my race bib on my bike and then get warming up. It's gonna be cold, but start cycling out the legs sooner than later, get myself nice and warmed up. All right, first mountain bike race. Here we go, starting 10 minutes. The first 4K is gonna be a lot more slick because of the rain, it's more clay based. After you cross the road, it's going to be more sand-based for the next while, and you'll notice a huge difference, but do watch the wet roots. The last 3K will also be rather clay-based, so be warned. Go! I can already say right off the bat, I am eight kilometers in and that has to be the hardest thing I've ever done. I am so far behind, but I don't even care at this point. Just having fun, but I'm stoked. Well, I'm at 14 kilometers and my chain just broke. Wow. And it looks like my cage 
is up in my cassette. So my day's done. Oh, no. Have a good ride, guys. You got everything you need to fix it? Oh, well, I think it's fucked, man. My uh, cassette or my fucking cage is all up in my cassette now. So I don't know if it's something more. You don't have to stop for me, man. I'm not racing, brother. Oh, you're not? No, I'm free riding for tomorrow. Oh, shit, okay. Uh, well, Are you allowed to get help on the trail? Yeah. I don't know, I'm pretty much done, man. Like, I think it's fucked up. You're already there. Oh, I see. Yeah. Is that even the quick release? I don't even think that's- That's not your quick release. Nope, that's no, not. I'm gonna break that out, yeah. okay? Oh, man, thank you so much for stopping. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're it. welcome. I was about to walk all the way back. You're welcome. I'm trying to keep my heart rate down today and I'm sucking at it bad. <laughs> These, this is this is quite the uh, adventure. I've never done a mountain bike race before, so. I haven't done one in 30 years. So, hey, man, we're on the same sheet. Oh, shit, yeah. So you're just uh, shaking off the cobwebs then. Yeah. I do a lot of riding, but not racing. I do a lot of coaching. Okay. Skills coaching. Awesome. That's amazing. How, uh, how long you been doing that for? Uh, 11 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. come on. Sorry, guys. Yeah, no, we okay. We're all good. Well. <laughs> to a point. It's... Damn, I can't believe I forgot my damn. Forgot my repair kit. Well, shout out to Mike for giving me a hand there. My day's done. I'm walking back to the aid station that I just passed. Oh, hello. Surprise. Hi. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm so happy you guys are close by. What's going on? I broke my chain. Oh, oh you no. did? Oh, great. And I lost my um, toolbox kit. Oh, and my God. day's done. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the walk of shame back. I, I'm using my bike like a um, scooter. I got about 3K-ish of uh, heading back. So that was fun. Four, 15 kilometers into the ride. Did an hour, so I got a nice hour bike ride in, and that's that. What I learned about mountain biking is you gotta double check to make sure you are well prepared. I uh, forgot my, I forgot my freaking repair kit in my car. I thought I had thrown it in my bag, but I didn't. And yeah. I think that's the biggest thing. Maybe even having a extra chain is probably a good idea as well. Um, and that having an extra quick release is also important. So that's okay. I got an hour of, I got an hour of riding in, <clears throat> 15K. And then I did a 2K and a ish run until I got picked up from the race director, Dan. So thank you, Dan, so much. By the way, if you guys are ever interested in doing a mountain bike, uh, enduro, XC, or what's the other one? Uh, gravel bike race, Dan from Substance Projects, he runs great races. His whole team runs great races. This is probably like my third race that I've done with his team. And uh, yeah, always a good time, great venues and great people. The community uh, that come out and support these races are very helpful, very nice. They wanna see everybody have a good time. I, I literally got asked, I, I, I will not lie to you, I literally got asked from every single rider that went by me if I needed help. And people were willing, ready to stop the race to, to come and help me. So thank you to those of you who uh, stopped. And uh, the person that did stop was Mike. Uh, he wasn't actually doing the race, he was just scoping it out. So the fact that he, uh, you know, took his tools out and whatnot and did his best to fix my chain and stuff, man, thank you. I really appreciate it. I'm humbled, man. Um, mountain biking is no joke. I uh, didn't get as much content as I wanted, but damn, that was a lot of fun. Like, like I said, I'm humbled. It is hard, it is challenging, um, it's very punchy, and you really gotta learn how to, you know, not burn all your matches, because it is it is easy. You can burn a lot of matches out there just by um, <clears throat> going too hard at the very beginning. But man, there are some guys that are just so agile on those um, trails. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed, man. I, I, uh, I think this might be my new, journey or adventure because every trail race or mountain bike race is going to be a hell of a ride.